Hey, Obscure Mike people, it's Bark, and I'm back, not with a headphone review, but with a microphone review. So as normal, uh, as usual, I am on the Shure SM7B as our baseline sound for the video, and today we're going to talk about the Studio Project's LSM, an obscure mic if I've ever seen one, a three-quarter inch thick, weird yoke-mounted USB slash XLR style microphone entering the ring of death against the Shure SM7B. Too far. I took it too far. So anyways, let's talk about the Studio Projects LSM before we put it to tape. This thing is all metal, all metal body construction, metal yoke mount, really nice grill with next to, I mean, there is no give. There's no give to the grill at all. Swivels on that there yoke mount just fine right there, tell you what now. And then you've got a USB port, a just standard uh, micro USB port. Is it micro or mini? Anyways, it's the old style USB port on the back. And an XLR jack that is mini, meaning it's it, it came with its own cord. A little proprietary mini XLR cable, which you can buy those if this goes bad. Now, this one here in particular is about 475 feet long. I do digress. I'm joking, but I think it's 20 feet long. So really long cord that you get with the Studio Projects LSM. And I will say also the, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. I should have showed this anyways on the base of the yoke mount, it widens. So you can actually set this down without a stand it's wide enough it's got this little wide platform on the five inch five eighths threading that you can just set it down and it'll stay there i tried it with the usb cable it worked wonderfully so let's go ahead and switch over to the lsm from studio projects now sm7b out of the way and now we're on the studio projects lsm Woo! i instantly like this microphone instant love it's like oatmeal a little bit of love a little bit of water mix it around it's instant love let's throw some plosives into it peter piper picked a patch of pickle pineapple pizza and when you get right on top of the lsm from studio projects this is what it sounds like when you get right on top of the lsm from studio projects this is what it sounds like so far so good let's go ahead and off-axis rejection this biatch into the front of the microphone 90 degrees Turn it around to 180 degrees, back around to 90 degrees, and back around to the front of the microphone. I love yoke mounts, man. I seriously love a good yoke mount. To be able to just tilt this back and put it at a, at a place to where my voice just flows into it instead of head on, I can go a little bit down. I can go upward a little bit. That little bit down was working okay, Peter Piper. I, I just really enjoy a good yoke mount. So let's go ahead and put it off to the side. And uh, let, let's get loud with this thing. On the road again. Oh, I just can't wait to get on the road again. This studio project's LSM's gonna be my friend. Cause I'm gonna take it on the road again. On the road again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, Lars. Hit the drums. Hit that weird snare. Tick, 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 tick. On the road again. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I digress a little bit. <coughs> See what being James Hetfield gets me? Gives me laryngitis. Anyways, man, I really like this LSM studio from Studio Projects microphone. This is the XLR mode. We are going to plug it in USB style, but the sound is really nice. I feel like it's really smooth. There's a little, little bit of a weird thing going on with the mids, maybe just a tiny bit scooped. I'll have to look at the frequency response chart. I didn't get one with it. Didn't find one before doing the video. Whatever. Screw me. But everything sounds pretty solid. I could use this all day long on a podcast to lay down some vocals to maybe even do some voiceover. It was 200 bucks when it was uh, still in production, but it is discontinued. I grabbed it for $100 off of eBay. And I'd been looking at them and looking for them for quite a while. I was very happy to get this microphone in. And now I'm very happy, period, to have this microphone in the studio. I think it sounds pretty damn solid. So XLR mode, I'm going to go ahead and give it the green light all day long. Granted, we still got to plug it up with the USB cable. So that should be interesting and fun. 
I like this microphone. I really do. Let's go ahead and uh, do this one more time. We've got the LSM versus, and it's not a versus video, but I start them all out with the SM7B. So the SM7B, a little richer, a little darker, but as far as like clarity goes, I think the LSM has it a tiny bit because of the, the slight presence boost on the clarity there. Both of them sound great. SM7B out, LSM is in. I really like the clarity. I think the, the top end is just kind of perfect on this microphone, at least for my voice. I'm really digging this. Bark falls in love with the microphone. I did it with the King B. I've done it with the SM7B, the Bear Dynamic M99, which I'm in love with it now. I wasn't in love with it the first video, but you're going to find out my love for it now. This Studio Projects LSM, this might be a keeper. If it sounds this good USB-wise to where I can take it on the road, plug it up to my computer and get this kind of sound out of it, I'm very happy. And it's all flat, Rodecaster Pro, my volume set to 15 with phantom power on because it is a large diaphragm condenser. Got to have that phantom power. Rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah! Rolling, 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 rolling. Come on! You can tell when I grew up. Okay, let's go ahead and switch it over to USB and see what we get out of this microphone. Freaking excited. Okay, so here we go. USB mode. LSM from Studio Projects. No headphones on because monitoring is a pain in the butt on a MacBook. So this is just going to be me not hearing. But I've already done some tests and listened back in the microphone. While it sounds good, I am getting a loud hum, almost like a some kind of electromagnetic feedback. Uh, I turned airplane mode on my phone. It's still done it. I put my laptop as far away from the mic as I could. Still happened. So I'll have to do some further testing because if that hum is there in USB mode, I'm not going to want to really use this as a USB microphone. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe it was with my headphones on. Maybe it won't come through the video, but if it does, just know I tried everything I could to get that out of there. So if I can figure that out, uh, USB mode is a success because it still sounds pretty good, but I don't know if that hum is just something internal with the mic that that would suck. But anyways, I did really enjoy the LSM from Studio Projects, especially in XLR mode, which I'm not a USB guy. You guys know that, but I would like to throw this up, uh, up into my computer. Oh, that's what she said. I'd like to throw it up in there. That's what she said. I'd like to stick it in, that's, with the USB port, I'd like to insert, god dang it, that's what she said. I would like to penetrate, that's, I'd like to use this with my laptop. I just want to use it with my laptop, and if it's going to make that high pitch hum, which I normally like when something makes a high pitch hum, I'm not going to use it. God, I'm ridiculous. I am an old, I'm like pushing middle age, and I still think sexual jokes are just hilarious. I'm sorry. I'm ba I really am. I'm basically Michael Scott. And if I don't clean up my act, I'm going to turn into prison Mike because you guys are going to report me to the YouTube police. Anyways, LSM. If I can find a way to get that hum out of there, please just let it be in the headphones. I love this thing. I already gave it the green light. I really like this microphone. I think it is a obscure winner. It's an obscure champion. So let me know what your thoughts were on this microphone in the comments below. Peace out. Secure mics.